That's Noreen Silly Boy teaching a grade 7 class the Mi'kmaq language to indigenous and non-indigenous students. She loves sharing her language. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I love seeing um, children pick up a word and say it, even pronouncing a word correctly. Silly Boy was about the same age as her students when her family moved to a Mi'kmaq community with few speakers left. I was shocked. I didn't even know I was a, in a Mi'kmaq community, actually. I thought I was just in a regular town. Um, Inspired to keep her language alive, Silly Boy became a teacher, teaching Mi'kmaq to grades 4 to 8 for the last eight years. The Truro Middle School is about one hour northeast of Halifax and located beside the Millbrook First Nation. Principal Tammy Fox wants the Mi'kmaq to feel welcome in her school. We are learning so much from one another and are able to see um, uh, all of the issues and our life experiences through different lenses and that only enriches our experiences as educators and as students at the school. Students from the Millbrook First Nation know the importance of their language. The language is very rare along other countries so it's nice to spread it more so people will know it's there. It's good to learn it because not, not a lot of like native students like from other places don't really know that much Mi'kmaq. In my community the language is dying so it's important that the younger like the younger people learn the language. Student Brandon Fairchild Gills is non-indigenous. He is taking the class to learn. It's good because the language is dying and it's just nice to learn it Silly Boy, a recipient of the Nova Scotia Education Week Cultural Responsive Educator, hopes Mi'kmaq language classes will be offered in all schools. And it brings back a sense of pride to our community, not only our children, but also the greater community, our elders, our, um, um, their parents. It, it's, it's uplifting. More schools may incorporate Mi'kmaq classes in the future, as Nova Scotia introduced a bill in April to designate Mi'kmaq the province's first language. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Truro, Nova Scotia.